The truth is technology can be finicky and tankless water heaters are no different. Over the course of your Navi and tankless water heaters lifespan, you'll likely run into more than one error code. Don't worry though, error codes are more common than you think. Keep watching as we break down some of the most common Navi and error codes. <laughs> Here at Monkey Wrench, we've been servicing tankless water heaters for over 15 years, and Navian is one of our partner brands. Having a relationship with Navian gives us insight into what makes these tankless water heaters tick, and that includes diagnosing and addressing common error codes. And in this video, we'll touch on the most common Navian tankless water heater error codes and how they can be fixed. Spoiler alert, you'll likely need the help of a technician. Hey, if you're new to this channel, consider subscribing as we're always adding new content on all things water filtration. Before we get into things, it's important to note that unplugging and plugging your Navian Tickless water heater won't solve any issues you're having. Similar to a check engine light on a car, just because you've disconnected the battery and the light went away doesn't mean the problem is resolved. Now, let's jump in with a common error code for Southern California residents, and that is Error code 016. If you run into this error code, it means there's likely an issue with your heat exchanger. Technicians most commonly see this error code with tankless water heaters experiencing calcification in the unit's heat exchanger. This issue can lead to any number of issues including overheating, pinhole leaks, and issues with the flow sensor. The first step for pretty much any error code is to get a technician out to your property as soon as possible. Your technician should then inspect the tankless water heater as well as the entire plumbing system to determine the root of the problem. If you've kept up on maintenance and your tankless water heater isn't too old, the technician will run vinegar through your tankless water heater to descale it. This process should clear the error code. Next up, error code 012. If you run into this error code, you likely run into no running hot water first. This error code signals flame loss, which a couple of things can cause. Gas pressure issues or an internal leak could trigger the error. Additionally, your gas line could be undersized, causing a lack of gas entering the system. You might also have a bad regulator. In very rare cases, there could be a faulty gas valve within the tankless water heater. Until this error code is addressed, you won't have hot water running through your home. Next steps. Again, you'll need to call a technician out immediately to diagnose and resolve this issue. Given the variety of causes for error code 012, your technician will inspect your tankless water heater and plumbing system to determine the cause of the issue. An important detail to note is that if your technician finds a bad regulator in your system, the gas company will need to come out to replace it. Error code 11. Error code 11 earns a spot as one of the most common error codes for a good reason, since it's easily triggered. This error code is associated with having no ignition, meaning you won't be getting any hot water in your home. Next steps. Like every other error code listed, you'll need a technician to resolve the error code properly. In most cases, your technician will likely report that the earthquake shutoff valve was triggered. This component can be activated by something as simple as hitting the tankless water heater with a garbage can on the way out to take it to the street. If the earthquake shutoff valve hasn't been triggered, then you're most likely looking at a lack of gas entering the unit. A dirty gas manifold typically causes this issue, in which case your technician will give the component a good cleaning. As with any issue, yearly maintenance is the best way to prevent problems like a dirty gas manifold. Error code E004. If you run into error code E004, your Navian tickless water heater is running into false flame detection. This issue means that the sensor that detects light is not picking up the flame. This error code is less common than the others listed above, but still pops up relatively frequently. Next steps. After calling a technician out, the root of the problem will likely be a leak in the heat exchanger or circuit board issue, a exhaust or intake blockage, or a mixture. If there is a blockage in the venting system, it may have caused a short in the circuit board, causing the E004 error code to display. If this is the case, your technician will clean out the system of blockages and sort out the circuit board. On the flip side, the repairs may have to be more comprehensive if the issue is a leak in the heat exchanger. Your technician may need to rebuild the system or replace the heat exchanger entirely. This is another error code that is easy to prevent with regular yearly maintenance. We've talked about the most common Navian Tankless Water Heater error codes our technicians run into so you can better understand what you might see on your own Navian model. Now you can confidently take the right steps should you run into one of these error codes. If you don't have any of these codes, one thing we can tell you about any tankless water heater is that the best medicine is preventative. So don't skimp out on your yearly maintenance. 
If you'd like to learn more about Navian error codes, you can download our free Navian tankless water heater guide linked below. And if you found any of the info in this video helpful, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe as we're always adding fresh content on all things plumbing, heating and air.